we're all pretty concerned about this recent increase um, in young patients under the age of 50 being diagnosed with colon cancer and rectal cancer. And, you know, luckily, even before this, we were approaching cancer in a multidisciplinary fashion. So coordinating care between the surgeons, the oncologists, the radiation oncologists that typically take care of colon and rectal cancers. And so we've really sort of optimized that platform to deliver the best care for our young patients. Our young patients with colorectal cancer um, really have told us the areas that they need. Um, so number one being psychosocial support. Um, a lot of our patients with young colorectal cancer say um, this was obviously a shocking diagnosis, not one that they expected to get. Learning ways to deal with that and to cope with that is sort of the number one area that they request some help with. Um, the other area that um, patients of this age consider is, is fertility preservation. So if they've already started a family, are thinking about starting a family, want that option in the future, um, then certainly we want to do all that we can to preserve those options for them with things like egg retrieval, um, sperm banking, and, and all the options uh, that they could have for the future. Lastly, our, our patients with colorectal cancer diagnosed under the age of 50 automatically get a genetics referral um, and genetics evaluation, not only to help us understand why this could potentially be occurring and why we're seeing these increasing rates, but to also help them uh, counsel the rest of their family members if they're potentially at increased risk as well. A multidisciplinary team for colon and rectal cancer consists of a medical oncologist that will help the patient with things like chemotherapy and guide them through that phase of treatment, a radiation oncologist for our patients that have rectal cancer and will be receiving radiation, a surgeon, most likely a colorectal surgeon or a surgical oncologist that will also be taking care of their cancer when it comes time for their operation, and then also involves kind of our broader team members um, that help us take care of patients in a truly multidisciplinary way. So that would be our genetic counselors, um, our psychosocial support team, nutritionists, and physical therapists as well. I think when you're dealing with colorectal cancer at such a young age, you really want to make sure that the team that's taking care of you has explored all of the options, uh, whether that be from an oncology standpoint, from a surgical standpoint, um, and has really worked to consider all of the different stages of your treatment and, and what you'll be facing during those stages. And so I think that we've really uh, focused on what that whole pathway looks like for a patient and trying to understand how to best support them through that.